In this video, you will learn how to insert multiple bar graph in Google Sheets. You can see here I have generated this graph using this set of data. First column shows the month which are displayed on X axis and the other two columns shows the data series. First one is 2017 and second one is 2018. So firstly, I will remove this graph to generate a new one. Firstly, we will select this data. Now go to insert option. And in insert option, you will find the option of chart. Click here. Now you can see here that the Google Sheet has generated a graph. I will move it here. Now in chart editor, you will find two options. First one is the setup and second one is the customize. Firstly, uh, you can see here there is an option of chart type in setup. You can select the chart type from here. Firstly, if you click here, uh, there are some suggested options. Uh, you can use this one. It is, it is the multiple column chart or bar graph. And if we further select here and scroll down, you will find different chart types. You can select any one from these. So uh, we have to generate this bar graph. So we have already selected right option. And if you scroll down further, there is an the option of use row to as header. So we want to use this row as a header. So I will check this option. Now I will go to customize option and first one is the chart and axis title select here. So the first one is the chart style click here and you can select the background color currently it is white white that is fine for me and I want font size in Arial. And if you want to insert a border around this chart, then you can select this option and select black border. If you want 3D bars, you can select this one. And if you want maximize uh, this graph, you can use this option. Now I will move down. And here there is the option of chart and axis title. When you click on this, there are different options. Firstly, click here and select chart title. You can write anything here. And you can control the font style and font size I will select 24 and I want to bold it I will collect this spelling and from here you can select the color now you can see here uh, there is a need to alignment so I will use this option for alignment in center Now from here, I will select horizontal axis and in horizontal axis, this one shows the month that is not accurately plotted. So I will write month. Next, I will change its font size to 14. Bold and black color second one i will select vertical axis and it shows the production you can also write units
you can select font size similar to others bold hand black color now scroll down and there is a option of series in series option you can change the border and the color of these bars firstly there is a option of apply to all series don't select this option select series one by one and from here you can change the color for example i want to change it to green and if you scroll down you will find the option of line color or border color and i will select black you can even select the dash type and their thickness you can use uh, similar options format other data series so i will not use these option currently there are different options appeared here which include error bars data labels and trend lines i will cover these in other videos so i will move to next option which is the legend option and when you click on this legend option you will find first the position of this legend you can select the position currently it is on the top you can select bottom right left anywhere similarly you can select the font size of your legend and the font style of your legend you can even select bold and change the color of your legend using this option now if i will scroll down and click on horizontal axis option in horizontal axis option you can select the font size of your data labels and font style i will select 14 bold and black color you can even use reverse axis order option or uh, there is a option of slant if you want slant you can select angle from this option next i will move to vertical axis option and here you can see here that i will select the font size 14 i will bold them and black color if you want a solid line on this axis you can check this option you can see here that solid line appeared here similarly there is the option of minimum and maximum value if i if you want to change this minimum value which is currently 0 to 1000 you can simply write 1000 here you can see here minimum value is changed if you want to change maximum value you can write it here now go to this grid lines and tick marks option when you click on it there is a option either you want to edit horizontal or x vertical axis i will selected horizontal axis here i will check major tick marks and i want to adjust it to outside you can adjust the these ticks th uh, the thickness of these and the length of these so i will not change them i will just select black color for these tick marks now from here you can select the vertical axis in vertical axis you can firstly there is the option of major spacing type for example currently major spacing is 1 2 3 4 you can select 8 from here for example i will select 5 you can see here major spacing is 5 1 2 3 4 5 similarly you can select the minor spacing 
for example i will select here 5 now i will insert tick marks you can see here there will be a 5 minor spacing appeared here in a major grid lines i don't want these grid lines so i will uncheck this option i don't want minor grid lines so i will remove these and i want to insert a major tick mark so i will check this option you can see here major tick marks appeared here but i want only outside not cross position so i will select outside and you can select the thickness and line length i will select black color now if you want to insert minor tick marks you can select this option and there are plenty of options available available to edit these minor tick marks similar to major tick marks so by doing so we have completed the formatting of this graph now i will close this one if you click on this graph you will find the option of three dots click on here here you will find the option of edit chart if you click on it the chart editor will be open here is the option of delete chart you can even download this by clicking on any format for example in P png image or pdf document or other similarly you can use this copy chart option simply copy this and paste it into an, another document according to your requirement that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye